PyTorch now supports Apple Silicon's GPU. In this video, I'll show you how to run PyTorch on Apple Silicon chip utilizing its powerful GPU. First off, let's see how to install PyTorch with Apple Silicon GPU support. Visit PyTorch website linked below and select Nightly Build, Mac, Pip, Python, and CPU. Copy the install command. I'm going to first create a virtual environment. Paste the command and that's all you need to do. While it's installing, I'm going to clone PyTorch example repo as a simple demo. I'm going to go into the MNIST folder. Okay, let's just test that it works out of the box. Now that we know it works just fine on CPU, we need to modify this code a bit to run on Apple Silicon's GPU. I'm going to share the code in the description below, but the gist of the edit is to simply add device as a command line argument. Finally, we are ready to test it out. First, I'm going to train the model for one epoch and evaluate the model in CPU. It took my M1 MacBook Air 37 seconds. Next, I'm going to do the same with the, with this time, Apple Silicon GPU. To do that, simply specify the device as MPS. It took my M1 MacBook Air 23 seconds. All right, so it's not as impressive on my MacBook Air, probably because it's got only eight core GPUs. But according to PyTorch team, it can be as fast as 20 times compared to running on the CPU on the M1 Ultra chip. Okay, that's it for today's video and cheers to PyTorch and Apple's metal engineering team.